This is the Devil's Panties video blog number... Brain slug! Starving! Um, number 10. This is uh, Devil's Panties video blog number 10, um, January 11th, 2009. Uh, for Christmas, my brother made us uh, hats. Um, he found, or he saw these hats at a, uh, a craft fair and he figured out how to make them and he made my whole family hats for, uh, for Christmas. And this is what we wore to church for Christmas Eve. It was awesome. Um, and they're so warm because I think that 63 is cold because I like 80 degrees. Um, but I'm too cheap to turn the heat up. It's a dilemma. So I'll just enjoy my, my hat. It's awesome. I had a roommate, um, I thought he was teasing me about it, but he said that they're the latest thing. And I saw, sure enough, I saw a guy in my rearview mirror in a hoopty with a red hat, monster hat on. So I think I'm trendy. Maybe. Accidentally. Um, okay. So things that are happening. What the Hellcon is coming up on the February the 6th, yeah, 6th to 8th, and that's at Guilford College. And uh, What the Hellcon has a geek auction. And they have boys that are very nice and, and sweet and intelligent and uh, for sale um, auction. Uh, it goes to charity. It's my f second favorite convention next to Dragon Con. I get tons of cartoons out of the geek auction. So if you can make it, totally show up. It's a lot of fun. It's a college convention. So they have the Iron Chef competition, college edition, and, and they have big monsters tearing up cardboard boxes. So if you can make it, it's, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then this Saturday, on the 17th, January 17th, I'm going to the Frosted Fetish Ball? Yes, Frosted Fetish Ball, uh, hosted by Secret Room, and it's going to be at what used to be the Chamber, which is the uh, first club that I ever went to in, when I was in Savannah, we drive four hours after class to come to Atlanta and, and go to the Chamber, so um, it's going to be nostalgic, uh, and so I will post more details about that, um, it should be a lot of fun. And then I'll go to the uh, uh, Joe's Coffee Shop in East Village uh, on Sunday to do a work day. So that's the update of, of that, and I'm doing a signing on Wednesday before the convention. Sorry, brain fart. Okay. Next. Hat. Pill case. I had these done, and I don't really know what to do with them. They're cases, and I should put stuff in them. I have them in the store. We'll figure something out. And I have magnets. Well, I've got a bunch of magnets that I put on my car. And, uh, you can put them on, not laptops, you can put them on, uh, uh filing cabinets and stuff, lockers, cars, refrigerators. Okay. Um, so I'm publishing book three. And that'll be out the beginning of February. Um, to have enough money to print it, I'm having a sale on the uh, store. I've got these comic book packs. Um, there's about nine comic books in here. These are comics uh, four through twelve that covers most of um, book one and all of book two. And instead of twenty dollars, I'm selling these for fifteen dollars. Uh, and then I've also got what is book uh, the second graphic novel in comic form in in individual comics uh, six through twelve. And this is ten dollars uh, instead of twenty. So you've got seven. You've got seven comics books uh, for ten dollars. So we've got a sale going on to help fund book three uh, of the graphic novels. If you haven't heard about this, this is the Pirate Adventures. This is Con Artist. It's ten dollars. It's in the um, uh, store, and it's all of the. Bi biographical comic strips about the pirate. Uh, the cartoons in here are only in this book. You haven't read them before. Um, and it's all true, except he doesn't actually sleep, uh, live in a boat. Um, but other than that, it's all word for word, him going to conventions, getting drunk and late. I take no responsibility for that. Okay, last. God, you need. I think that's how you say it. Happy God took me to a Bollywood movie. I have been broken. I cannot go to another American movie because they just will not add... Uh, it was an action movie with 
pastels and singing and dancing, and it was amazing. Um, if you get to, if you had a chance to go see it, it is incredible. It is. Um, Guy spends half the movie beating people to death with his bare hands, and then the other half the movie singing about how much he's in love. And he's really hot. So there's that too. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it's good. You need to go see it. He he. It's like Batman. Um, he's a he's a corporate and and has a company and falls in love with this girl and and she thinks that he's poor and they fall in love and then uh, she gets killed and he has to avenge her death. <laughs> I guess that is like Batman meets Memento. Anyway, you should go see it if you had a chance. It's really good and um, I'm gonna go turn the heat up. I'm cold. <laughs>